Imagine you're waking up in paradise on a beautiful tropical island with a sandy beach and a mesmerizing view of a calm sea. Just a few hundred meters away, you see a small island called Cape Cree. And below the surface is the richest coral reef in the world. This is Raja Ampat, which many call the last paradise on earth. The marine life biodiversity of Raja Ampat is the highest recorded on the planet. Our favorite way to enjoy the best diving of Raja Ampat is with Cerrito Bay Resort, which is located on Cree Island. This resort was founded by Max Amer, who pioneered scuba diving in Raja Ampat. Let's meet Max for a short introduction. For a full interview, please watch your video, The Pioneer of Diving in Raja Ampat. My name is Max Auer. I am uh, German-Dutch and I've been living here in the Rajampat since almost 30 years. I traveled here and the people were very helpful, uh, friendly and so I thought I would like to work with them and I was looking at the possibilities and because there's nothing here except nature I thought tourism was a good idea. So I came with the idea to start a diving resort I've learned how to dive when I was in the army in 1982 and so I knew a little bit about diving, not so much, but a little bit about diving, so I thought maybe diving is a way. So um, I went to promote it during a show and uh, one tried to find out how much feedback I, I got and actually people were very enthusiastic. And the first people that I brought here to the Raja Ampat all told me the same thing. They all told me that the diving they did was the best they've ever done. So based on that, I decided let's give it a try and we started the resort and we worked with local people. It was actually very, very simple kind of because I went to a village and I told the people I had this idea to make a resort and I asked them, what do you think about it? And they all said it was a good idea. And I asked who would like to work as a part of the team and the hands went up and said, okay, you, 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 and we started building the first day. <laughs> Two other key people at the resort are Chris, manager, and Jade, his assistant. So let's go meet them as well. Hello everyone, my name is Jade and I'm the assistant manager here at Cerrito Bay Resort. And I'm Chris and I'm the resort manager of Cerrito Bay Resort. And I manage the housekeeping department, the restaurant, the guest kitchen and also the staff kitchen. Most of our employees here are Papuans and local people working here in Raja Ampat. At Cerrito Bay Resort, we serve a buffet style for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But we do accept dietary requests such as diets for vegan or vegetarian or gluten-free or anything like that. All you need to do is let us know and we will adjust the menu for you. The food that we serve in our buffets is mostly Indonesian meals, but we do have a mix of Western meals included. Here at the restaurant, we sit like a big family where the guests can all talk to each other and talk about the day. And the management team as well, we join the, the guests during the meal times and where we can discuss more about the local people and the local culture and traditions. In addition to what Jay just told us about the restaurant, you should be aware that the territory of the restaurant actually belongs to a local family of Cuscuses and you should treat them with respect. Bananas usually work very well. Our resort has only seven bungalows and can accommodate up to maximum 18 people. All bungalows are located in the jungle along the white sand beach. They're built with superior quality and just a few meters away from the beach. It is nice to walk on the soft sand and do your morning exercise on the beach. The bungalows are very spacious and convenient, with every single detail carefully thought through.
powerful air conditioners will make your nights very restful and as cool as you want. If you're an underwater photographer or videographer, you will be delighted to discover that you have your own camera room with a camera washing sink and four power outlets. Having a camera room in your bungalow is very convenient. It was definitely a brilliant idea. Thank you, Max. And don't worry about carrying your heavy camera rig to the boat. A camera taxi is always waiting for you and you do not need to call an Uber. Another simple but brilliant idea by Max. Occasionally, you can meet a monitor lizard crossing the boardwalk, but no worries, they're not as big as Komodo dragons. Before we go for a dive at Cape Cree, let's meet Chris and see what he can tell us about the diving operation. Here at Papua Diving, we have an average ratio of 3 to 1, with dive one dive guide for every three guests, which means we're able to provide quite a nice, safe environment for the guest and all the reefs that we have. At Cerrito Bay, for the most part, we're even able to provide one guide for every room to provide a really nice, safe experience for the guest and to ensure that they see as much as possible in all the dives. The dive sites we have here are very famous worldwide, with many of the top 100 dives being based here in the Dampier Straits of Rajampat. Cape Cree, Blue Magic, Sardines, these dive sites are consistently known for having high amounts of fish life, as well as biodiversity and corals. This is very important for all the divers, but also for them to see that all. It's important they have good guides that can show them everything they need to see or request to see on these dives. All of the dive sites are an average of 5 to 15 minutes away, so not very far, including Cape Cree, which has the world record for the most fish species, counted on one 60-minute dive at 374 different fish species, which is just 30 seconds from our jetty. So right here on our doorstep, we're very lucky to have that. As well as that, all the other major known sites are a maximum of only 15 minutes, which makes traveling to and from the sites very easy, quick, and gives it guests more time to rest and relax between dives. So as well as our local dives, we also offer full day trips to the famous Pier Nemo of Pham Island, which is very well known for its viewpoints, as well as a P-47 World War II airplane wreck that we have in this area. And then there's also one to the Mushroom Islands and to the Mansa sites, where everyone wants to see Mansas. We provide free Nitrox for all guests who are already Nitrox certified, and for any guests who are not Nitrox certified, we do offer courses here. Not only Nitrox courses, but all courses, from open water all the way up to Dive Master. So any guests who are interested in courses can do it at either our Cerrito or our Cree Eco Resort. Here at Cerrito Bay, we are very fortunate enough to have Mandarin fish off our very own jetty. So we have Mandarin fish dives at sunset every day if requested. As well as that, we also have black tip reef sharks, bumpy parrotfish, cuttlefish, all right here from the jetty and our fringe reef. After dinner or later at night, there's also a good chance of seeing walking sharks. Walking sharks, they like to be shallow on the sand, so it's a very nice thing for not only divers, but also for snorkelers. Besides just the sunset dives for mandarin fish, we also offer sunset dives on all of our reefs around the islands, as well as night dives. And besides just a normal standard night dive, there's a possibility of also night muck diving, fluorescent diving at night, diving with a kind of blue light, which makes the corals glow, and also black water diving which is very interesting for guests who want to see what lives in the water column before it moves to the reef, as well as microorganisms such as silps. And now let's listen to some final advice from Max about the best time to dive. When you dive, it's not only if you dive on the right location. It's very important you dive on the right time. So you could be in the right location the wrong time and the dive is not fantastic. And when you're there one or two hours later, when the currents are running the right direction, you will have a totally different experience. And because we've been operating here for almost 30 years and the people are all local, we really know the reefs intimately. And that is, I believe, why people diving with us have a better experience. It is the amount of time our guides have been diving and how intimately they know the reefs. All right, it's finally time to go diving at Cape Cree. One of the significant advantages of diving from a resort is that you could dive the best sites at the best time. Currents in Raja Ampat can be very strong and this can be challenging to a new diver. Dive masters of Papua diving are very careful in choosing the right time for each dive site. 
and we always have the luxury of coming back to the same dive site at another time or day. Diving in Rajampat, and especially at the sites of the Dampier Strait, like Cape Creek, can be overwhelming. You can experience sensory overload, and you might just have to pinch yourself to check that what you're seeing is truly real. The variety of the color species, their colors and their beauty are difficult to describe. To really understand the scale of biodiversity and beauty of marine life in Rajampat, you must see it for yourself. Because of the enormous variety of fish species at Cape Cree, it's not possible to ID all of the fish in a short video. But here we have a few favorites that we're always glad to see. One of them are the sweet lips. Some Indo-Pacific sweet lips are among the most beautiful fish. They're very approachable and their patterns and colors make them great subjects for underwater videography and photography. The Wabagong shark is another favorite. I think it's one of the most unique sharks. Believe it or not, this is an animal, and it's called a crinoid. They're related to starfish, and they've been around for almost 500 million years. One of the greatest benefits of diving with Cerrito Bay Resort is that they assign a dive guide per room, meaning that the guide to diver ratio is usually one to two, or even one to one, if your buddy decides to skip a dive. This is a triggerfish. Some triggerfish species can be quite aggressive when guarding their eggs, and they have razor sharp teeth, so make sure you be careful. This cute fish is called a mat puffer. They have the ability to take water into their stomachs to swell themselves up, making it harder for a predator to fit them in their mouth. And of course, you could see plenty of anemone fish here. Barracudas are regular visitors here, patrolling the reef. Schools of humpback red snappers are always enjoyable to watch. They form large schools that are stationary or drift slowly along the slopes during the day. Let's watch them and see how they do it. Because of the currents, every single dive at Cape Cree is very different. However, these sweet lips are permanent residents here. They can always be found at the depth of 35 to 40 meters, very photogenic and tolerant towards photographers. Just don't forget to change nitrous to air, as it's far too deep for nitrix. Okay, it's time to go back to the resort. Wow, it's another magnificent day in paradise. And the Cape Cree sunset is spectacular as well.